everyone. Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. I have three vehicles that I want to do this mod to. It's called a mirror tap. So basically what it does, it gives you power to your device, whether it be a radar detector, a dash cam, keeps it nice and clean and a tidy install. Now what I'm going to showcase today is more of a universal install on my BMW M4 because I'm taking it on a road trip or a car rally. So definitely subscribe if you want to get those updates as well as I need to review this uh, new radar detector I picked up a little more thoroughly before I share that video with you. But also we're going to be doing some harness based mirror tap installs on this Escalade here as well as my GMC Sierra AT4 because they have those fancy camera mirrors with the screens and they're a little more involved than this guy here. But for all intents and purposes, let's go through a universal install. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can pick up one of these, very affordable, but let's have a look at what's in the package. So first you have your harness. This is 10 inches long, it's got a nice braid to it. It also has an inline micro fuse to protect your equipment. And then you have your positive and your negative leads here, which tap into your harness. Now the plug that I chose was actually a Cobra plug, even though my radar detector is Redenzo, uh, they use the exact same size of pin plug. Um, so this one should work without a problem. Now, if these pins for the harness are too big, they give you some reducers here so you can reduce it down to a smaller configuration to fit those really tiny harnesses. And then they give you some cable ties to keep everything nice and tidy. Now, before we install this little device here, you'll want to identify where you're going to tap into. Now this uses 12 volts, a dash cam would use five. So make sure that you're distinguishing between the two and you pick up the right harness. So this is a 12 volt wire tap used for a radar detector. Now we have the positive and negative here. So we've got to find where the positive and negative are in the vehicle. Now, because this has an auto dimming mirror, I'm able to tap into that. So there's a harness in there. We just have to identify the positive and the negative, and then we should be good to go. Now, if you don't have an auto dimming mirror, you may have an overhead console or something that has lights or a power source to it. You could look at that as well. To test it, you could use a 12 volt test light. That's probably the easiest. You could use a multimeter, but essentially we just need to get the 12 volts to this. It's got the inline fuse. It's gonna draw the power that it wants but because it's a radar detector, it uses 12 volts, not five like a dash cam. So again, make sure you pick up the right harness. Now with many vehicles and even some BMWs such as mine, all the systems wake up as soon as I open the door. So once this is plugged in to the harness that's up above where my mirror is, it's going to actually power on the device. Then after I shut off the car or lock it, several minutes go by and it's going to shut down those systems. Your vehicle may vary, but I just wanted to point that out in case you see just some of the things during my installation or testing. If your vehicle doesn't do that, you might know why. Now make sure you have some lighting gear because it is a darker interior, it's gonna be hard to see. So we gotta light it up. Okay, first we're gonna tilt down our mirror. And on a BMW, this actually seems pretty sturdy, but you gotta pry it apart. Just like that, there's little clips that hold it together in the middle. And then you should be able to get this shroud out of the way. So that's pretty simple. Just put it behind there. Now we have two harnesses back here. The one I've identified already for my 12 volts, that little pink or purpley colored one back there. But to get it out, I probably have to move this one a little bit. So I can just pull it up and out of the way without disconnecting it. Now I'm gonna use a little flat screwdriver and a pick tool and just pry this one out before we put the wire tap into it. I'm using a flat screwdriver just to put a little bit of pressure underneath the pin where the connector is. And then we should be able to pop it out with our pick tool. I think I can grab it now. There we go. Okay, so we got the harness that we want to connect to. Let's double check our positive and negative. I believe it's the red one here and the brown black, but we'll double check. I'm just going to use these extenders here, these, these pin reducers, just to make the wire a little more accessible. So I'll put that one where I think the negative is and this one where I think the positive is. And then I have a cigarette lighter adapter down here or a 12 volt adapter that I'm going to ground it out on and I should get a positive signal. There we go. 
And now that we know that's power, this one we can use as the ground. Yes, we're good to go. Okay, so now we're going to connect these. They're a little larger, so they'll fit in there a little more snug. Just have to figure out, they're a little bit flat, so you gotta figure out which works best, so it works good like that. There we go. And we don't wanna to go too far because we don't wanna separate the harness either, so I'm just gonna back out the red one a little bit. Now we plug it back in. Make sure I get it the right way. And we'll move this harness back. There. Okay, that harness is in place. Now we just need to decide where we want the cable to come out when we're done. So I think it's gonna have to come out on the driver's side here, because my connector's here, and I'm probably gonna have this hanging somewhere in this area. So that's kind of how we're gonna lay the cable. And what's nice is because this is pretty thin, it should be able to just kind of peek out the side and then we can adjust the cable length as needed. So we'll just take a cable tie here and we'll secure this so it can't easily be pulled out. And that way it's secure and we know it's not gonna come loose um, from wiggling or vibration. Slide this cover back on this side first. Make sure our cable is tucked out of the way. And grab the other side. There, back together. And now we have the wire just hanging out over here. Nice and clean. And now we can mount our radar detector and see if it works. So put it about there. Gotta pull our cable just a little bit and plug it in. We did it, we got it working. Awesome, we are one step closer to going on our road trip or car rally down to Vegas. That should be a lot of fun. If you wanna pick yourself up one of these universal type mirror taps, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Remember, we are going to be doing some harness based ones, meaning they utilize the factory harness on the fancy mirrors that come with the Cadillac Escalade, my GMC AT4 and several other GM based vehicles. If you like this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, it helps me grow the channel and continue to bring you more content. Please consider subscribing. Anyway, we'll talk to you next time.